lionesses here. And I think uh, Senzo actually said he could see some more lionesses a little bit further back from the sleeping lady. Somewhere, ah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> I was busy looking off to the right and I was just saying to Senzo, I wasn't expecting them to be here. Because from what Byron was saying, he said he could hear them. I must have been in the bathroom or something. I didn't hear them this morning. But he said he could hear them somewhere north, uh, beyond the camp. So we were going to try and do this pincer movement to try and find them. And I was expecting something, maybe tracks along Buffleshook cut line. And uh, we thought, well, we'll take Gallego shortcut. And uh, yeah, as I say, I was looking to the right and said, no, lion, lion. <laughs> So what a lovely surprise this morning to actually still have the lions in Juma. And of course Juma means roar of the lion, doesn't it? <laughs> a very lovely treat this morning. You can just about hear the dawn chorus. I mean. And as that sun starts to rise, the temperatures are going to start to increase and these ladies might decide to get up and move. So I think we're going to stay with them and see if there is going to be any action from them. Are you picking up that bird that's calling? So if there's any sharp-eared viewers on board who could hear there was a, a very distinct bird calling. So we're going to play Who Sung It, which is a slight variation on Who Dung It. I don't know if you guys still play it, but uh, if anybody knows that bird call this morning, hashtag Safari Live. Let's see if you can ID the bird that was just calling. It was that one that was whistling. Ooh, apparently my whistle's gone this morning. Hold on. <whistles> oh, still can't. <laughs> I thought I'd wet my whistle. It didn't work. But hopefully you got the gist. <laughs> 